Breaking news from Starbase, Texas. The excitement is electric as SpaceX prepares for one of its most ambitious launches yet, Starship Flight 7. This isn't just another test flight. It's a milestone that marks SpaceX's bold leap into the future of space exploration. Right now at Starbase, history is unfolding before our eyes. Ship 33 has just received its payload, the first ever practical cargo for a Starship flight. We're witnessing the transformation from test vehicle to operational spacecraft, and the changes are stunning. The ship sports a sleeker heat shield design, streamlined for maximum efficiency, while Booster 14 stands ready after completing its critical preparation phase. But here's where things get interesting. SpaceX has been moving at unprecedented speed, implementing new procedures we've never seen before. They're pushing boundaries, breaking records, and rewriting the rulebook on spacecraft development. From the mysterious Department of Defense explosion warning signs appearing on Mega Bay 2, to the surprising changes in payload integration, every detail tells a story of innovation and determination. The original launch date has shifted, but that's not slowing down the SpaceX teams. They're working around the clock, fine-tuning every system, checking every component. Elon Musk himself has just revealed the new launch window, and we've got all the details you need to know. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments from SpaceX, breaking down the technical details into clear, engaging stories that matter to space enthusiasts like you. Let's dive right in. The atmosphere at Starbase is charged with anticipation as Ship 33 undergoes its final preparations. Just days ago, our cameras captured something unprecedented, a Department of Defense mass explosion warning sign prominently displayed on Mega Bay 2. This seemingly small detail reveals a significant shift in SpaceX's approach to launch preparation. For the first time, they're installing the flight termination system before rolling the ship to the pad, a calculated risk that could shave precious days off the launch schedule. But the FTS installation isn't the only groundbreaking development. Ship 33 is about to make history as the first Starship to carry a genuine payload. 10 dummy Starlink satellites meticulously designed to match the weight and dimensions of their operational counterparts are being carefully loaded into the vessel. This isn't just a test anymore. It's a dress rehearsal for the future of satellite deployment. The loading process itself brought its own surprises. Rather than using the traditional high bay PEZ dispenser system, SpaceX opted for a more direct approach. Each dummy satellite was carefully crane lifted into Ship 33, a process that had our entire team watching in amazement. This deviation from expected procedures shows SpaceX's remarkable ability to adapt and innovate on the fly. As Ship 33 emerged from Mega Bay 2, we got our first clear look at the revolutionary changes to the heat shield design. The reduction in thermal protection tiles isn't just about weight savings. It's a calculated gamble based on data from Flight 6. Each missing tile represents SpaceX's growing confidence in their understanding of atmospheric re-entry dynamics. The exposed areas also reveal something even more exciting. The mounting points for future catch pins, a crucial step toward their goal of full reusability. Meanwhile, Booster 14 has been undergoing its own transformation. The teams executed a precise operation to temporarily remove the hot staging ring, allowing access to critical components beneath. This delicate dance of massive machinery performed in challenging wind conditions demonstrates the incredible skill of SpaceX's ground crews. When the ring was reinstalled, it marked another milestone in Flight 7's preparation timeline. The stacking operation brought these two magnificent machines together for the first time. Standing at their full height, the combination of Ship 33 and Booster 14 represents the pinnacle of SpaceX's Block 2 design philosophy. The offset flaps, once controversial, now look purposeful and elegant against the Texas sky. It's a testament to how function can shape our perception of form, but the real story extends beyond the launch pad. Deep within the Star Factory, SpaceX is already preparing for the future. Our sources reveal that as many as eight ships could be in various stages of production right now, potentially up to Ship 40. This isn't just mass production, it's a revolution in spacecraft manufacturing. Just six years ago, this site was empty, and now it's producing the world's largest rockets at an unprecedented rate. 
Each ship represents countless innovations and improvements, learned from previous flights and implemented at breakneck speed. The development of Block 2 boosters has brought its own share of surprises. What we initially thought was a header tank turned out to be something far more impressive, a downcomer for the future Block 2 boosters. This massive component, roughly the size of an entire Falcon 9 booster, will feed propellant to 35 Raptor 3 engines. The scale is mind-boggling. We're literally seeing a rocket-sized component being installed inside an even larger rocket. Weather conditions at Starbase are being closely monitored as we approach the new launch date. SpaceX isn't taking any chances. They've already begun moving sensitive equipment away from the launch site. An entire building, believed to house server and control systems for the propellant farm, was relocated using a self-propelled modular transporter. Even the scaffolding around Pad B's chopsticks is being partially disassembled to protect it from the immense force of launch. The new launch window opens on Monday, January 13th at 4 p.m. Central Time. This slight delay, while disappointing, showcases SpaceX's commitment to safety and thoroughness. Remember, we're seeing a completely redesigned vehicle prepare for launch just two months after its predecessor. An achievement that would have seemed impossible just a few years ago. Looking ahead, the future of Starship becomes even more exciting. Block 3 designs suggest a height increase to 150 meters, towering nearly 30 meters above the current configuration. To put this in perspective, the Statue of Liberty, at 93 meters, would need to crane her neck to see the top of these future giants. The story of Flight 7 isn't just about a rocket launch. It's about human ingenuity, determination, and the relentless pursuit of our dreams among the stars. Every modification, every improvement, Every innovation brings us one step closer to making life multi-planetary. As we count down to launch day, we're not just watching a test flight, we're witnessing the evolution of humanity's greatest adventure. Our team will be streaming live three hours before liftoff, bringing you comprehensive coverage of this historic event. We'll break down every detail, explain every milestone, and share this momentous occasion with space enthusiasts around the world. The future of space exploration is being written right here at Starbase, and we're honored to share it with you. Remember, this isn't just about breaking records or pushing boundaries. It's about expanding the possibilities for our species. Each successful launch brings us closer to regular orbital refueling, lunar missions, and eventually, the first human footprints on Mars. Ship 33 and Booster 14 aren't just impressive machines. They're the keys to unlocking humanity's next great frontier. As we count down to this historic launch, we're tracking every development at Starbase. Our analysis shows that Flight 7 represents more than just technological advancement. It's a testament to human determination and innovation. From the groundbreaking Block 2 design to the first ever payload integration, we're witnessing the evolution of space travel in real time. Join our community of space enthusiasts by hitting that subscribe button. We've noticed that many viewers watch our content regularly but haven't subscribed yet. Your support helps us maintain our round-the-clock coverage at Starbase. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on the Block 2 design changes, and don't forget to share this video with fellow space enthusiasts. Want more exclusive Starbase content? Visit our merch store for unique Starship Block 2 designs and authentic launch site photography. A portion of every purchase supports our dedicated photographers who brave the Texas elements to bring you daily updates. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, your front row seat to the future of space exploration. Until our next update, keep your eyes on the stars. History is being made with every passing day at Starbase. December 27, 2023, marked a historic moment in the space industry. As the sun set over Cape Canaveral, Florida, the night sky suddenly blazed with light. After eight years of development, Blue Origin's massive New Glenn rocket roared to life in its first static fire test, its seven BE-4 engines igniting in a spectacular display of raw power. This wasn't just another rocket test. This was Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin making their boldest move yet in the commercial space race. The test lasted 24 seconds, with 13 seconds at full thrust. 
Numbers that might seem small, but represent a massive leap forward for the company that had faced years of delays and skepticism. The timing couldn't be more significant. With the FAA launch license now secured and the successful static fire test complete, Blue Origin is positioning New Glenn for its debut launch as early as January 6th. This puts them on a direct collision course with SpaceX in what's shaping up to be the most intense year of commercial space competition we've ever seen. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're taking you behind the scenes of this crucial milestone. We'll break down exactly what happened during the test, what it means for the future of space launch, and how this development could reshape the competitive landscape between Blue Origin and SpaceX. Let's dive right in. The story of New Glenn begins not with triumph, but with frustration. For years, space enthusiasts watched as Blue Origin's ambitious rocket remained largely hidden behind factory doors, while SpaceX launched rocket after rocket into the Florida skies. The space community had almost given up hope. Then came December 27, 2023, the night that changed everything. As the sun set over Cape Canaveral that evening, tension filled the air. The massive New Glenn rocket stood tall at Launch Complex 36, its metallic surface reflecting the last rays of daylight. Inside Blue Origin's control room, engineers who had dedicated years of their lives to this project held their breath. This wasn't just another test. It was the culmination of eight years of work, countless setbacks, and billions of dollars in investment. At precisely 8 p.m. Eastern Time, the command was given. The seven BE-4 engines roared to life, their blue flame illuminating the night sky. For 24 crucial seconds, New Glenn proved its worth. The ground shook as the engines reached 100% thrust, maintaining full power for 13 seconds. This wasn't just a technical achievement. It was Blue Origin's declaration that they're finally ready to compete in the orbital launch market. But the path to this moment was anything but smooth. Jeff Bezos, watching from nearby, knew better than anyone the cost of delays and setbacks. The company he founded had faced criticism for moving too slowly, for being too secretive, for promising much but delivering little. In fall 2023, Bezos made a decisive move that showed just how serious he was about changing this perception. He removed CEO Bob Smith and brought in Dave Limp, a veteran Amazon executive known for getting things done. Blue Origin needs to be much faster, Bezos admitted in a rare moment of public candor. It's one of the reasons I left my role as CEO of Amazon. Blue Origin needs me right now. These weren't just words. They were a commitment that would reshape the company's entire approach to rocket development. The transformation was dramatic. Under new leadership, Blue Origin began moving with unprecedented speed. The company rolled out new manufacturing processes, streamlined testing procedures, and most importantly, started showing real, tangible progress. The static fire test wasn't just about proving the engines worked. It was about proving Blue Origin could deliver on its promises. But here's where the story gets really interesting. While Blue Origin was preparing for this crucial test, SpaceX wasn't standing still. Elon Musk's company had already conducted two fully stacked Starship flights in 2023, with plans for many more in 2024. The space race was heating up, and the contrast between these two companies couldn't be more striking. SpaceX, under Musk's leadership, embraces a philosophy of rapid iteration in public testing. They're not afraid to fail in full view of the world, learning from each setback and moving forward quickly. Blue Origin, even under new management, maintains a more measured approach, preferring to test extensively behind closed doors before making public moves. The differences extend to their technical approaches as well. New Glenn, at 98 meters tall and 7 meters wide, is a more traditional rocket design. It uses time-tested aluminum alloys for its structure and aims for partial reusability, recovering its massive first-stage booster while expending its upper stage. The rocket's seven BE-4 engines, the same type that powers ULA's Vulcan rocket, represent a blend of innovation and proven technology. But the numbers tell an impressive story. New Glenn is designed to lift up to 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit in its reusable configuration. This puts it in direct competition with SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, currently the world's most powerful operational rocket. 
The larger payload fairing of New Glenn offers unique advantages for certain types of satellites in space hardware. The competition between these companies isn't just about technical specifications. It's about two fundamentally different visions for humanity's future in space. 